I always wanted to be a politician and assumed that's the way I would spend my life. Proust said, we all end up doing the thing we're second best at. I discovered I was a storyteller and that was a gift I hadn't realized I'd got. Every author gets criticized. I read other authors and, and their books. Every author gets criticized. You've got to face criticism and get on with it. And sometimes you learn from it. If you're sensible, you read it and they say you don't do X. You learn from it. The only ones I'm intolerant of are failed authors who become critics. They drive me mad. I'm up at six every morning. I work from six to eight, 10 to 12, two to four, six to eight. Bed around 10 o'clock at night, up again at five, ready to work at six. And I love it. I think I would give up if I didn't love it. I think I'd do something else. I come over here on December the 27th to Mallorca and I work for 50 days, every word handwritten. And I will do that three times. In other words, every page is written three times. And then I will leave here on about February the 10th, February the 11th, and I'll have a handwritten book of about 120,000 words. And I give that to my secretary and she types it. I'll take a three to four week break and then I come back here and it's given to me triple spaced and I start working with a pencil. The draft that will be on the bookshelves on March the 13th of uh, Be Careful What You Wish For will be about the 14th draft and will have taken about a thousand hours. So it's very hard work. I had the great honor, I, I can't put any other word on it, of being edited by Corley Smith, who edited J.D. Salinger. I mean, we're talking about a legendary American editor. And he said, I got a problem with Cain and Abel, Jeffrey. In your book, you say that Cain dies before Abel. In the Bible, Abel dies before Cain. He clearly thought this was important. So he said, I want you to rewrite the whole book. I said, you're joking. Rewrite the whole book. I said, I can do it in one sentence. He said, okay, show me the sentence that can do it. So I said, well, halfway through the book, they're talking on the phone. The two men are talking on the phone. You put in the sentence, and if you think it's going to end the same way as the Bible, forget it. He said, oh, I hadn't thought of that. And that's because he was an editor and not a writer. Corley's once said to me, I asked him, What's the difference between a great writer and a great editor? And he said, the first draft. Brilliant reply. Well, I'm very privileged. Don't let's kid ourselves. You know, that you don't get a team around you unless you're doing quite well. But I am a great believer in teams. I'm a great believer in working with people you trust and admire. So I have a brilliant agent in uh, Jonathan Lloyd. Macmillan are a first-class team. I know every single one of them. Authors don't even take the trouble to get to meet the people. I rang the person who did the cover last time to thank him. He said an author's never rang me. I think they're bonkers. Of course you should ring the guy who did the cover, because next year you'll try a bit harder to make it even better. Idiots. So, yes, I'm very lucky with my team. There's, there's different aspects when you've written 27 books. I love the day you see the first copy. I love publication day. And then you have the agony of waiting to see what the public think. I'm talking about the critics at one level and I'm talking about whether the public are still with you. So I'm driven all the time, driven to do better. I want the next book to be better, always. That's the aim. 